Uh, right, so, one thing I want to talk about straight away is where's our rehab station? Well, it looks like someone's tired in this, so we're going to make some changes. But if we go inside, so one thing that I am not entirely certain... Oh, okay, this is different. Has there been a patch overnight? Right, this is potentially different straight away. It's the number of chevrons on here. And also, um, how they're filled in. There's nothing as far as I'm aware that explains this in the game. And we've been going on the assumption that red is military experience that builds up. And that would, that would sort of bear out. This has got a little bit of experience. That's nearly got a full chevron. But why does it show three... That's, there's two empty chevrons there. There's three... Well, yeah, two empty ones. But there's three in total. There's only two in total there. And there's two in total there. Now, before, they showed a black chevron. And one suggestion meant that the black chevron, that was a full experience bar, and that was quite valuable. That's not showing on these, so I just wonder if that is per chance, or whether there's been a patch overnight and they've altered it. it show, you think it shows their ranks? Let's have a look at that then. Can we look at these? Is it showing up there? Right, so their ranks. It should say... I, I'm not so sure it does. Um, does it say the rank? Private first class, warrant officer second class. Right, so we've got... It's not changing, hang on. Just come out of that, I think I'm on the wrong one there. Click on these three. Right, so we've got two warrant... We've got a private and a warrant officer, and the one at the back I can't seem to select for some reason. I don't know why. You can test it by seeing if it changes the outcome of the battle. Um, chevrons do don't denote rank, but I don't think it's I don't think it's just rank 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 related. <laughs> I don't think it's rank related here. There's no black thing showing, so we we can't test this. But one suggestion, I think it might have been you actually, Money Man, was that the the black bar didn't denote a filled combat rank. It denoted a combat rank that was no longer available because the guy had been injured, as in previously treated or had some terrible injury, which might be the case. This guy's had complications. He's only got two ranks available. The one at the top, for some reason, I can't click. I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to assume... We're not going to assume anything, actually. We're going to put him in the orders. And that's, looking, that's not looking too bad. So now I'm going to put him in there. And this one... I still can't click on him. Hang on, let's just exit this and come back in. All right, he's still here. Uh, I don't know. It, I, I can't actually bring this guy's tab up to see. It won't show me his patient card. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, th this game is maybe not quite as well finished as it needs to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to put him in there. Oh, we're not going to put him in there? Is he... I can't do anything with him. I can't literally do anything with him. So we're going to see what happens with that and come back to that at a later date, I think. You think when it's building up, it shows the combat ability increasing through recovery? Oh, through in recovery, you think? And oh, that's interesting. You lost all sound, Catherine. Hopefully it's not from my end. It looks like it's broadcasting. I, I, I hope it's not the first time. It won't be the first time we've started broadcasting without the microphone or the game sound on. We shall have to see how that turns out. But it doesn't show when you look at, um, at this. So if we go inside here, it doesn't show up on... Well, it shows... No, when you go to this, it doesn't show up. This this guy is a private, so the three bars don't mean anything. He's got one bar on, right? He is a commandant. Okay, so he's from he's from the Belgian army, different rank, but it it can't be that. It can't be rank related. I'm I'm fairly certain. Also, I didn't notice this, but someone pointed out in one of the videos that um, when we've got people queued up in here. And I didn't notice it till I looked closely at the video, but there was a black skull over one of these guys. And I think that indicates that they're so going to be so long in the queue to get seen to 
that um better just move that actually that um they'll die in, in while they're waiting so i'm going to look out for those because i hadn't noticed them before isn't the black bar related to injuries if that's the case and from a logical standpoint it disappear through rehab and proper treatment it might be master bridgehead we need to see if it comes back it might just be gone altogether now there might have been a patch or a hot fix I think the bars are for manpower. The more they have, the probably strong. Yeah, okay. We'll see what happens anyway. We'll try and get some different ones. We'll see when these guys go in, because there's one with three bars on there. And we'll see what they do in the rehab centre. Um, it's complicated, I think, is, uh, is, is all we can conclude at the moment. You can see their value and what they are expected to give in the top right of their portrait, as in these ones. in the top right. Or do you mean the ones in the rehab station? So I, th I, I mean that is combat power that they're expected to give. I just, I just didn't know why some was black and some was red, but the black bar seems to have gone. That was, that was what was throwing me. And I had assumed that black was better, but it might not be the case at all. I think we can say the more red the better i think that's and the more bars the better but other than that um i don't know what else we can read into it so let's get this ticking on there's an upgrade on the production tech tree that increased the pharmacy's production by 25 percent. i'm not sure where it is but it's in the early levels that i have we got that one that is one we're either working on or we might have we might have got it Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, we've got the production speed by 25%, so we, we, we do have that one. The one I think I want is the production cost in resources by 10%. It takes a lot of orders, but what that'll do is that, that will... It'll save our freight, because that's going to go down, and we're going to need that for food and all sorts of things soon. So, as we're going to produce more in, in, in engineering, in pharmacies then we should probably take that, I think. There's a second one. Ooh, is there? Above the distillery. So which is the distillery? Um, that's a distillery, isn't it? It lo unlocks that. Nope, that's not it. The engineering depot. Right, so there's that one. Uh, and that one, okay, that's... That decreases production cost and resources by 10%. Oh, for the pharmacy as well. Ah, so we can get 20% reduction in resources altogether by getting that and that and maybe something else hiding around. Okay. And there's the autoclave. Increases production speed. Okay. I see it now. So that also increases pharmacy production speed by 25%. Um, I think we just buy that. I can't remember if I was saving up for anything. Yeah, let's just assign that. You are making alcohol. I think we did need someone in there. That's nice. Okay, that might make a huge difference to uh, us getting the stuff out here. There's, there's a few things we can do. Thanks. Well, that is really well spotted. No, there's a, there's a resource cost and there's the other one, so well spotted. Very well spotted. Okay, I've got to try and remember what my train of thought was yesterday. Because, um, was there anything that we had left the game on? There's still one wounded out there. I didn't think there was anyone... Oh, okay, we've got someone in advanced dressing. They're doing 12-hour shifts, so that's fine. There's no one in at the cemetery at the moment. And I think we're trying to get these guys just rested. So what we could do is we could put them onto 12-hour shifts in here and rest them. I don't know how long they've been off, actually, but we'll do 12-hour shifts, one and two. Have a feeling he would rather be in here, but 
<laughs> Screw it, it's too hard to maintain all that. Okay, let's hope they get those injured soldiers in. Should tell me up here. There's 15 yeah. wounded. Medics are on the way. And I, I guess we... There's three dead, so we are going to need someone at the cemetery. Oh, we've got... Shorter operation. It appears our initial diagnosis was wrong. The wound was cleaned and the shards removed. There is no severe internal damage. That's a good result. We'll take that. Anyway, we do have some assignments to, to shift along. So, you are exhausted in the rehab centre. I think I need another nurse, but I can't afford one. So we'll have to put you in there for the time being. Sir, oh, let me way. just check, actually, that there was nobody else exhausted. The medic teams are resting. That's fine. The engineers and the scouts are doing scouty things. Let's see what the doctor situation is. Stable, 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 stable. Well rested. Great. Nice. There has been a hot fix because this is now saying operating, and I'm sure it say it said operated yesterday. So I wonder what else they fixed in that. You need at least a place uh, for the a team for the cemetery yeah. to keep the place clean Operation and get a morgue. I think I've got the morgue. We're out of medicine again. I think yeah. I upgraded yeah. the morgue. Yeah. They've nearly got that, which is excellent. Let's have a look in rehab. So we've got some more people in. Um, so there's no combat value from this guy, we think. We think. He's worth. Uh, he's he's not worth releasing, so he's going in there. And Walter Wild. Oh no, the black bars are back. Hang on, here we've got a black bar, so it's in there. So I was going to look to see if there's anything in the notes that might indicate the number of times they've been operated on, or the number of injuries, or the type of injuries they've got. But it does show a black bar in there. I don't really know what that means then. It doesn't show there. It shows a missing bar there. Ah, okay, that's that's curious. And I still can't select that guy at the top. We maybe won't be able to ever get him out of here. We'll have to see. I might try, if I can't move him when his eight hours are up, I will try reloading the game and see if that uh, frees him up. He's worth two orders. We've got quite a few orders in there. Who's going in there, by the way? Okay. This guy looks like he's got quite a bit of combat experience, doesn't he? But he's they're worth three orders. All right. Well, let's... let's. I can't drag him. I'm going to put him in there. No, I'm not. I'm going to put him in there. And I'm going to get the three. Because he's... No, I can't move him. I'll put him in there. Let's put... Oh, God, am I... I've messed this all up now. Right, let's start. All right, they're still going, they're leaving. Okay. I don't think I'd probably need all those in the trenches, do I? I'm going to put the three back over there. Screw it. Let's let's do it like yeah. that. Patient is cured. I need orders. It's no longer showing that they have three bars. It's only showing the two. There's something. There's something that's gone a bit funny with all that, and I just don't know what. Seems the patient's will is strong and recent events have made less impact than expected. Shorter rehab time by a lot. I like these simplification things. I've noticed that there's Sir, some... Um, medics are on the way. Oh, this is cool, this is cool. Let's have a look at improvements again. I've noticed that in the surgery stuff, there's things that you can choose whether you go for fewer bad stuff or more good stuff. And I like the good stuff, so I'm going to upgrade it to get more of those once we get the option to do so. I think it's kind of cool getting those. So over on production, this was the engineering depot. The mechanical mill system. 
lets us produce more food. What's this one? This is the canteen. Stew brewing pots. Unlocks nutritious rations. And nutritious rations provide morale over time, which might be something we have to go for. Our options here, high precision weights. Decreases the production cost in resources. So we actually can maybe get that twice. Because there's one in the pharmacy as well, which is here. And the pharmacy's doing a lot of production, so I think that's a good thing. We could do with getting that done as well, so I might save up the orders and try and get that done so we can make our own medicine there. Possibly. Oh, a guy said Sir, alcohol? Who said alcohol? Let's just, just pr press play. Sir, Have I missed a message? Ever thought of focusing on alcohol prediction? Sir, production? You do need it for fulfilling meals. I can do without the fulfilling meals at the moment. You also need it for producing one of these. I think it's this one. So, um, yeah, I do have some. I'll need to make sure I've got food production because it uses a lot more rations. So I'll need to upgrade that. So it's one of those things that's looking as a future upgrade, I think. Uh, fortunately, it seems all the burns caused by the gas are superficial. It seems most of the gas agent was stopped by the patient's clothes and we were able to save most of the, the patient's skin. That sounds kind of grim, but that's good news for us. And more so for the patient. Oh, God, I didn't see these guys coming in. Right, so for the chemical ward, we can just put you straight on there. And for you... Right, we've got critical and serious. There's a high chance of failure on this guy. It's a demanding operation. A seven hours and a high chance of failure. Uh, I think... He's trained a trench rat to chase other rats away while he sleeps. This guy can be saved though. But the serious one, I think, is probably unlikely to, to go through. I think we bin him. And we switch him into there. Yes, okay. Now we can see. So if he rests for four hours, he's going to die waiting for that. This is, this is the black skull symbol. I hadn't, I hadn't even noticed these before someone pointed it out. So I, thank you for that, whoever it was. And if we move the rest, that disappears, he'll potentially live. I think we can get on with that, so we're going to wake this guy up from his sleep. He can do one. The stable guy might have to wait a bit. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. We are so short on these orders, I am going to order resources. I'm just going to put an order in. Oh, it seems so expensive though, doesn't it? Sir, patient is cured. Uh, where do they? Where do we produce these things at? Where's the pharmacy? Right, they're working 24-hour shifts in here at the moment. Hmm. I might switch them over for a bit to get these two to have a rest before they get absolutely exhausted oh i've got a stack of new orders uh in that case yeah let's let's switch them over they can have their rest he he is okay he's just doing his thing that's fine i'm yeah, going to order some anyway i'm going to spend four and put the order in i just need to get off the ground just so i'm not at my my limits here. I should have saved the game there, just in case, but anyway. Right, let's have a look. Widowed with one child. Commanders usually dump lesser duties on military nurses. She, for example, wrote letters to the families of the fallen for a while. So I can set it so she eats once every two days. Tires significantly slower when working solo. Work significantly better. Speeds up operations at operating wards. I could have two on that and set them on 12-hour shifts. Okay, let's let's do that. 
Let's do that. Right. Um, pause before my coffee goes cold as well. Yeah, save the game would be a good good one. Don't think it's worth having shifts. It reduces production. It's just about managing tiredness, really. I guess it's so you can auto-manage it rather than you have to worry about um, manually doing it. And there was a thing, although I've not seen it now, but there, there absolutely was a thing where the, you mouse over these guys and they would say they'd rather work the first shift or the second shift. That's gone from all of them now. I don't really know why, but it's it's disappeared. Okay, she's already in there. And I really wish you could like middle click on these to get their portrait cards up, but we can't. So it's Arabella Head and Eva Deeks. And so we always have a nurse in there. That's these two. Helpful and friendly. Speeds up operations. So they're both of them speeding up operations, which is good. Hey there, UFO. How's it going today? Right, let's see. Uh, we'll check on the medics a moment. I will, I'll put this on a 12-hour shift, and I'll put these guys in there. I don't think... Yeah, I think you can probably come out. Because I have a feeling... No, I'll leave them in. I'll leave them in for a bit longer. I'd like another medic team, I think. But this should say there's no wounded in the trenches, which is good news. Right, I think we're back on top of things. Medics are on the way. The scouts have done something. Excellent. The fishermen. The scouts and Harris's units arrive at the river near the fisherman's hut. The surprised fisherman quickly finishes hiding his crates under the tarpaulin. He seems a bit nervous, but after a short negotiation, agrees to take the unit to the other side. He is, however, a little reluctant to risk smuggling the unit and will require a little incentive, as he puts it, if he was to help the unit. Take the fishing boat by force. Offer the fisherman incentive. The scout commander will offer two alcohol and one orders. As this is a less risky option, as fishermen surely know the river well. Take another route. I can afford the alcohol. We're bribing them. Harris... Enraged by the fisherman's insinuations, declares that he will not pay the man a broken penny, as he and his men have already paid tenfold with their blood. The scout commander tells Harris to leave the negotiations to him, asking him to take his men to the boat. Returning to the fisherman and knowing what kind of man he is, the commander offers some prepared bottles with alcohol and supplies. Then he gives him a smug smile and casually points to Harris's men and, all, and then to the crates in the warehouse. He asks the fisherman if he knows that the law says regarding smugglers and asks him to reconsider. There's a short pause and a look of uncertainty from the fisherman, which quickly turns to rage and then resignation. He reluctantly agrees to the commander's offer. So, we, I'm sure we could have got a better deal than that, because I figured he was smuggling, but uh, anyway. So, right. Pause. Jack Porter's having a complaint again. Let's have a look at the patients. I think from day one to 21 is just chapter one. Yeah, there's chapter two and three. Um, but I didn't look actually when we started the game to see if uh, if they were kicking off yet. He's resting. I think we could probably get them working and turfed out. He's tired. He's okay. We can, yeah, we, he, can, he can be woken up. That's fine. And the chemical ward. Oh, we've got a VIP. I didn't see this. Lou Lagarde from Norfolk was declared a pacifist until the war started after his family had to flee before German forces. He joined the war with his two sons to defend his country. He hopes that they will they all manage to return to his wife and youngest child that had taken refuge in Paris. During the last year, he was promoted to corporal and transferred to the 36th Division. I'm writing to you with a request, sir. I was admitted here with two of my sons, Private Clovis Lagarde and Private Jacques Lagarde. We all served in the 36th where we defended this facility. They were under my command when the gas fell. I was not able to protect them then, but I implore you now, save their lives. I know that supplies are always scarce, so I hereby forfeit my life. If you need to choose, choose them over me. Oh, wait, does this mean his sons are joining? So that's signed, Lou Lagarde. Uh, are they coming then? 
Well, let's put them in there. We have enough for this, which is good. Let, let's see, let's see. I think they're probably turning up. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't read too much into the story things about some of these. It's um, it looks a bit, a little bit shifty. Uh, let me have a look. It kind of ties things together, so that's fine. So if I go to the scout hut, I preview the teams. Um, cancel. Have we got anything new to do? These are all things that are done, I, I think. This is the hunt for the big guns. After infiltrating deep into enemy territory, Harris's unit, guided by the scout team, approaches the German artillery supply warehouse. Well, that's what we were doing. So, yeah, assign him with his Sir, dog. Scout unit has started a new mission. And from there... Right, I think... I think we're back on track Sir, with things. Doctor is starting a new ship. I think we're okay. There's a lot to always think about in this. Sir, medics reach the cemetery. Got people in the cemetery doing their things. The clearing station, it keeps telling me it's... Sir, new patient arrived. Well, he's, he's stable, so that's okay. Uh, it's a longer one, I'll just put him in the queue. He will be extremely exhausted after that. I don't really want an extremely exhausted anyone, so... Right, we'll, we'll do that. Sir, operation was successful. So, the operations are going quite well. And we got the same thing here. Three and a three. We do need to get this back to blue if we can. Uh, both of these are similar sort of quality. We'll put one in there. Why... is this the same guy? I can't even, I, for some reason, I can't even select it. Someone, Aguda. Hider, Aguda. I can't even, oh wait, I've got it. How did I do that? I don't know how I did that. It just came available. I just clicked and clicked and clicked till it moved. Right, you can go back in the trenches. We're just doing a mix of, of combat, actually. Can I, if we think this is three, this is two. Let's do that one because that's, it's not going blue yet. We need that. I want that to be blue. It is a bit buggy, yeah. I'm happy to live with it at the moment, but I will Sir. save the game on a regular basis. Uh-oh. Uh, let's have a look. The operation, uh, the patient's hip was in a worse state than initially diagnosed, and it'll take more time to put it back together. So I guess we have no option. It's going to take more time, which might muck this up. No? No, it's okay. What if I put him on there? That's fine. He's well rested. He can do all of them. Oh, actually, he's rested. He can go straight in. Is this really an extremely exhausting thing? I mean, it's okay. We have two others that are going to be rested, so... Tell you what, let's do this. Because that's serious, and that needs to needs to go. And we'll do it like... We'll do it like that. So we will have some surgeons ready for the next wave. I didn't get it on early release. I mean, they did they did send the, the Steam key to me early, but I wasn't allowed to stream it until the game actually physically released. So no, they're not they're not expecting any feedback, at least no more feedback than they expect from anyone else. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, I don't think there's anything. I do need to have a look in here. No one's exhausted here, thankfully. The nurses are kind of recovering. I could put a nurse in the... I will put a nurse in the clearing station. Yeah, I'm thinking of switching those two out, actually. 
What if I do that? And we do 12 hour shifts. Let's let's try that one. So the engineers are okay. Right, he can come out and he can go in. Which leaves these two free to build something. Sir, engineer is on the way. Let's have a look. The reason I took that one out is because he has a buff to, to build times. So housing, I think we should get all the housing done. And maybe we have got all the housing done. Is that, if I look at Simon's staff, Simon's? Can I not see? I'll tell you where we look at this. We go to higher personnel. They are one over one, that's that's fine. So the surgeons are currently full till we upgrade the, the surgical ward. And we've got room, apart from the scout, we've got room for the others. The, the reason I was thinking of let's have the houses done is simply because if we get an event that offers us a free member of staff, we need to have the house ready to take it. So that's why I was thinking we should maybe get those done first. You like reading what the characters say when walking? It actually gives you like hints about what they're what they're thinking and their their emotions at that point in the day. So it can give you clues as to maybe what's going wrong or what needs attention. It's quite good. Uh, the scout thing. So this would be on this one. This would allow us to have an extra team. Increases number of scouts in teams. This is doable. It's going to take three orders. I feel like there's more important things. So we were working on, oh, that's nice. That decreases the construction time of improvements by 25%. Although, oh, there's another pharmacy production speed at the end of that. I can see that being key. <laughs> so lots of things. What about a pharmacy upgrade? Are we due one? Oh, I'd need that, don't I? I think I should save the orders and get that. Although that does decrease the production cost of resources by 10%. It's going to cost us three orders. No, I'm going to save it because I think we're fairly close to getting the required number of orders. Yeah. If we have Engineer a look. Well, oh, what are these? Military draft. Let's call them the right thing. Military drafts. This is halted. I think it's because I've switched the nurses around, is it? I would guess... Um, I'm going to put him in there. Sir, patient is cured. Nice. I think I should focus more on production and resource because uh, the Sir, freight isn't infinite. That's true. The, tr the trouble is, it's it's hard to focus on everything because there's just so much stuff. You need a rest. Normally, it sets the rests automatically quite well. Oh, wow. Okay. This this is a, a lot of... Right, this is interesting because these guys aren't going to survive. Three of these guys are not going to survive if I do this. So this is very tiring. Bring him out a bit. Exhausting operation. He's been in before. Hmm. It's because the one that's in has got a 14 hour operation. That's massive. And he's serious. I think what we're going to do is we're going to deny him. And suddenly, there's a chance that everyone might live. No, not if I do that. Actually, if these are stable, I can potentially put him back in there. If I put him at the end of there, he's dead. Deny him. What if I put him at the end?
It's because of the time for the operation, that's the problem. We're going to have to put it on denied. Just to keep the others alive, I think. Oh, and this is a stable VIP. He, he did say to do his sons first, didn't he? So, if I do that, the one at the end is dead. Okay. We've got to do it, sadly. I don't have the resource to treat them anyways. I don't, but I can. I'm going to have to order those, aren't I? Yeah, there's no, there's no other way around that. They've got to be ordered. And they are so expensive to order. Sir, new patient arrived. Oh God, there's even more coming in. So these ones we can work on. You can rest after that. The stable guy, he's going to get worked on, so he's okay. And the good one can go in there. So these are the ones they're going to get as the points and the orders and stuff back. <laughs> that we need to upgrade the pharmacy and things. The problem you're having right now is that you're overly reliant on the headquarters resources, which force you to use drafts, which cause delays in your upgrades. It does, but I mean, it's, it's, just a, it's just the way the game so, goes. It's one of those choices to make. Try to balance it out as much as you possibly can. So once I get a load of people out of the rehab center, I'll have the drafts required. Uh, let's have a look. It was medics, I think. He's exhausted in there, so let's take him out. Uh, it's a shame the shift, the shift system doesn't really help that much with tiredness. We'll just let them rest up, and then we'll switch them in and out as required, but I better put that on 24-hour shifts. Oh, the pharmacy yeah, as well. So he's working in that department, which is absolutely fine. Because I don't feel like that is overly important at the moment. We have enough. We'll put that to rest for a bit and give him a give him a break. But this was this was going full power, wasn't it? Full steam ahead. Sir, engineer is on the way. <laughs> Sir, operation was successful. Good, 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 good. We like to see that. He's worth three. He's going straight in there. There is a three in there. I kind of need the combat power as well. I need those. I do need those. We'll get the pharmacy upgraded next. There's this upgrade on the housing tree that decreases how much time your staff take to be fully rested. I've got one of them. So if we go for the housing one, there's that. It, it it also passes on, but I mean, it gets very expensive to buy. Uh, it will be a good one to get, but at the moment we've not been able to spare the materials for it. More patients. Someone else in the trauma ward. There's someone serious in the... Oh, is that the guy in before? I put him on the list. He's going to die. He is going to die. Okay, let's just instantly deny him. Not enough medicine. Uh, well, it's 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 in it's on order. It's on order. Critical. Okay, I think we can switch that, that around. We can fit you in right away, sir. Uh, this way around, please. And good. So we'll give this guy three, two <laughs> things. He's tired. I still be exhausted there. He's tired. That's okay. We're managing that. That's fine. Yeah, everything's very demanding in the game. 
headquarters are demanding, the staff are demanding, the patients are demanding that they maybe have a right to be. Who have we got? Another guy in trauma. This guy is serious. But the three, the three stripes suggest that maybe, maybe I should put him in first. They will all live if I do that. At the moment. So he can have the first one. It doesn't look over. This looks complicated with a high chance of failure. I'm wondering if I should just drop him out. Let's just take a look at him. He's been in twice. It's an exhausting operation. Oh, actually, the failure chances aren't that bad. I've, I just misread that. Yeah, I looked at the wrong way around. Okay. Um, okay, you can go back in. If no one's going to die yet, then that's fine. Uh, Seawall, the operation was successful, but the patient died. Which one? Oh, it might have been the operation was successful, but another patient Ten. died. Someone we've assigned good. to the... Uh... Oh, my God, have we got... Pause. We've got a load wounded. Do we have anyone at the advanced dressing station? We do. And I don't really feel like they're doing their job. I don't like the shift system in this. Yeah, I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to switch them around. I'm just going to have them working all the time. But to enable that, I'm going to switch out to someone who's not so tired. The cemetery, I don't feel like, is quite as urgent now. They can work on a shift system there. Because we've got the morgue, which, which takes off the pressure of the cemetery. I didn't notice there were still injured people. Why is it showing six? Because there's six in there. They're not on the battlefield, are they? It's only showing one on here. Okay. Well, I guess that means that they're not being transported fast enough to the to this place. Sir, new patient arrived. New patient arrived. This guy is good. He will die. <laughs> uh... This guy's now gone to critical. It's not saying he's going to die. But I'm wondering if I should drop him in. We'll give him a chance. Shift system could use some improvement. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I can't do much about this. Uh... You never know. We might get we might get a lucky. We might get lucky. We might get lucky. It might not go bad. Sir, medics are on the way. Keep them coming. Do we have a nurse in there, by the way? Right, we could do with a nurse in there for sure. So I think we're going to have to. I can't recruit one. Uh, you can go over to there, because that might just keep people alive a bit better in there. Possibly. Sir, nurses are on the way. I like that thinking, Catherine. Positive. No one's going to die. We don't need anyone working in the cemetery. Oh, we should have a look in this. Because we might be able to do something. Right, so the plus ones will drop into the combat power pool. It makes no difference. Um, he's definitely in there. He's got two stripes, which I think is good. But I'm thinking... <laughs> stack up on the orders. The drafts, the drafts. I've got to start calling them drafts. But I do need combat power. And he is quite well suited. I'm going to put him in there. That was, that was quite a... Oh, we've got six. Oh, we've got six improvements. I can't remember which one it was now, but I think it was pharmacy, wasn't it? We need seven. We need five. I need more freight. Okay. We're nearly there with it. Schedule.
we've got a freight train coming in at 8.02. So if I still have enough, then we get that done. The nurse is exhausted. She'll just have to be exhausted. There's casualties coming in now. I see them moving. Yeah, people are dying after being denied admission. That's just the Sir, way it is, unfortunately. Who have we got? They're all coming in. This guy's terminal. Even if I put him there, he's still going to die. So, denied. Sorry, my old mate, you, we can't do anything for you. This game is so brutal. It's okay, these, these are his sons. He did say to put them first. He did. We need more of this, so we need to go to the... Sir, patient is cured. We need to go here. And... We're about to set the engineers working on something, aren't we? Not 0.7 per hour. That's okay, because by the time those operations take place, we should have enough. So I'm just going to leave it ticking away like that. Can't save them all. Sadly, that is true. But I'd love to know. Uh, it wouldn't it be great if there was an online leaderboard? Sir, of the uh, deaths versus survivals. Two more patients died. So we are losing morale. We're going to have to think of ways to, to increase morale. Let's spend those improvements right now. So this is, this is the pharmacy. This can now get working on this. Let's go improve. And in the staff lodging, it's going to take uh, five and a half hours. That's fine. These, these guys don't need to do anything else. So we're going to get the better one. He uses all this, which means we're going to struggle to make medicines and stuff for a while. Patient Sir, being transported patient just died. Sir, engineers reached the construction site. That's quite bad. My kill to death ratio is pretty good. You think so? I don't know. I've got nothing to compare it to. I feel like we've been doing okay with what we've been sent and the challenges we've had. I think you'll definitely be resting after that. Um, you can come out of resting. Actually, I'll just put him in the list. Yeah, go on. We'll get this done. Then he's rested up. He will rest, so he'll be fine. And then we'll have someone fresh to come in when we need. We need a lot more of this to treat these people. Denied. I'm just. We're just going to have to accept that. This is, um, hmm. Well, okay, the production, Sir, we'll just have to see. Four patients died. There's lots of patients dying, but luckily, because we put them in there, then it's, it's kind of expected if we're denying them treatment. I will have to start releasing some from duty if this carries on. <laughs> this is going... Sir. This, this is going quite tough now. I need more staff. Uh, you okay? It's the nurse that's exhausted, is it? No? It's this one. Sir, I'm working everyone to learn on the point of collapse. The Sir, cemetery... Operation was successful. I will not worry about the... Oh, it's got a semi. It's got a medics team. So they're resting at the moment. What's the time of day? Nine fifty-one. That's that's fine. We've got a morgue, so that shouldn't worry about the beds because we've got capacity, and we shouldn't worry about this. So that's okay. Yeah, the, the cemetery team can work on their shift by themselves. That's fine. We can. We don't need a twenty-four hour cemetery. Ooh, ooh, good news. The operation was surprisingly easy and allowed the operating team to gain more faith in their skills. Understood, morale raises. That is most welcome. So one of the engineers is exhausted. 
Ah, now this 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 is a problem. I'll take him out and we'll switch him over when he he comes out. <laughs> oh, this yeah, this this is we're almost going to have oh god, when's the next load of resources coming in? There's some more coming in at 407. That's a long way away. Sadly. There's nothing we can do about that, so... Let's go for it. I can order some stuff. So we've got four of these. What's going to hold us back the most? Thankfully, food is okay. I think it's probably the chemical stuff or the trauma stuff. Yeah, there's a big shortage of trauma stuff that we can't currently make. Oh, and he's he's on the sodding list as well. Ha, ah, that's not that's not good. That's really not good. What if I do it that way around? He dies afterwards anyway. And then they both die. Huh. Oh. He's an exhausting operation. Does that keep them all alive? That's... That's going to be the best... That's going to be the best um, outcome from that, I think. As harsh as that is. Here's another 12. Right, that's these are quick and simple ones, so let's put them in here. Uh, I think I, I need more trauma stuff for sure. So order some resources. Although having four orders is, is nice. It's not going to go. We definitely need some trauma. And that's, let's just do it. That's just all, all we can ask for, I think, at the moment. Sir, new patient arrived. Not more. This, this is a, this is definitely a problem. Hmm. He's currently well rested. I bet he can do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This this game's about I'm gonna have to assign a load of people to the don't treat column Sir, here. We lost this patient. Someone died during the operation? Well that can't be helped. Sir, new patient arrived. Yeah, we're not making anything. There's too many new patients coming in. At least this guy is stable. Put him in there. Let's switch those around. I need some good news coming. That's what I need. Sir, operation was successful. Um, I need defences. We need defences. Let's put him in there. He's got some experience. As soon as that goes blue, we can stop putting people back on the front line and we can start uh, sending them back to headquarters. Do you know what? If we're out of resources, here's an idea. If we're that far out of resources, shall I bring everyone out of... Let's get everyone into there. And just get them resting. And we'll get that finished quick. And get the engineers rested, and then we will Sir, just produce what away. we need. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. Good news, you're on the second pot of coffee. Oh, hang on. Pause a sec. Sir, patient is cured. Save. We want any more nasty crashes. Can we... Oh, is this not a... It was. Logan Mills. Morale increases over time when they work at CCS. They perform better at ADS. Tires significantly slower. Works more efficiently. Is not affected by negative trait effects. And they work significantly better at the cemetery. I would say... I would love to have him at CCS all the time. And tyres slower. That's, that seems like a really good one. Oh, we've got some good news here as well. 
Seems the infection was not serious and we have high hopes for his recovery. Unfortunately, his body shows signs of dehydration and emaciation. I'd like to recommend prolonging his recovery. I can, yeah, extra morale, I can live with that. Recovery is the easy part for us at the moment. So let's have a look at the medics. Actually, it might be a nurse. No, nurses, nurses are fine. So you're exhausted. He is the one that's supposed to be in there that, that doesn't tire as much. Okay, that's fine. He'll recover faster. Um, and then I'll try and put him back in on a 12-hour shift when when we can, when he's rested. He'll, he'll work better. Scouts, bring me some good news, please. This is, the scouts are supposed to be going after the big German guns, which I'm hoping is going to get neutralized before that battle. Oh, by the way, June the 20th. So we just have to survive another 27 hours or so, and we're going to hit the end of what we assume to be chapter one. Sir, medics are on the way. We seem to have a bit of a backlog here at the casualty clearing station. There's trucks come in with medics. Well, that's what I assume they're doing. We are completely out of materials. Until that train comes in. Please don't say it was cancelled. 407. And that's going to give us some new materials which we need to instantly start producing stuff. New patients arrive. Always new patients. There's always new patients. This is the one that's really, ch um, really struggling with now because they are long operating times. If we can build some upgrades which speed this up, that would be uh, very helpful, I think. This poor guy at the back is just going into the denied section. He's a five hour one that's good. They're going in after the VIPs regardless. And this guy's currently stable. And we're just on the situation of not enough medicine, unfortunately. I'm hoping something good is going to happen that allows me to either order it or produce a load more. Did we get the engineers? Did they finish that thing off? They did, so we can now, in the pharmacy, start making these as well. What does that require? So that requires alcohol, and that requires alcohol, right. So we need, we're probably going to need two alcohol. We're going to need to upgrade that, aren't we? Yeah, that's slow going. We need to upgrade the alcohol production. Sir, engineer is on the way. Huh. Well, I'm hoping by chapter two, when we hit the 21st of June, I'm hoping that they're going to give us a ton of rewards or resources or something to help us.